Bart seems to dislike the rigid formality that many bring to composition. He writes, What did I care about the rules of composition, of the photographic landscape? He recounts that he could only think of some photograph that he loved whenever he read about photography, and this apparently made him quite an angry fellow. Critical distance from a photograph can allow us to observe things without attachment, but Bart sees the photograph as merely a media transporting us to a thing. He says that a photograph is always invisible, it is not it that we see. He claims that the photograph is never anything but an antiphon of look, see, here it is. Bart makes clear at the outset that this work is not one that is objective, but that it is very subjective. He points out that he is avoiding that which is reductionist, and that he is taking as his corpus a few photographs that seem real to him. Are they real to anyone else? Who's to say? Subjectivity seems to be embraced here as the kind of ideal. Bart lets his value of each object show as he begins thinking of a new science for each object. In this way, he would, call, he would begin to think of each object as a single object, what he calls a methesis singularis and no longer universalis. In doing this, Bart makes himself the measure of photographic knowledge. This kind of subjective value is not uncommon. The practice of ethnography whereby one conducts axiologically value-laden research is common qualitative research method. Stepping forward and discussing his opinions of photographs, he opines that photos can be the object of three practices, to do, to undergo, and to look. Some of the vocabulary that Bart uses to discuss photography is reminiscent of his work in semiotics. The photographer is called the operator, we, presumably the audience, are referred to collectively as the spectator, and the target is the referent or the thing that any given picture is taken of. Though everyone with a cell phone is a photographer today, Bart held photographers in esteem and commented that he doesn't have the patience to do photography except were it taking a Polaroid, and he comments that only very talented photographers, in his opinion, are able to take good Polaroids. For Bart, photography and death are linked. The photograph contains a mechanically reproducible memory of what once was, but is no longer. As Heraclitus opined, that one cannot step into the same river twice, neither can the same photograph be repeated. The photograph captures the past, that which is dead. For Bart, the effort of taking the photograph lies with the photographer, who must struggle to make the object seem alive. The object, of course, being the referent. In this way, the camera and the photographer, having primary agency, not through the lens, but through their fingers, the bodily shooting of a figure, shooting, capturing death. Based on Bart's language, I kind of get the sense that for him, photography serves the function as a kind of interpretive haiku, a limited tool for capturing some limited aspect of reality. Though for Bart, a pipe is always a pipe. It seems to me that while an image of a pipe is a pipe, it is somehow constrained by photography. Bart says that the one photograph derives his existence metaphorically from the photograph. This language leads us to the idea that the material birth of this being is made up of ink and paper, based on concepts of light and the exposure. In this way, the subject of the photograph is a rhetorical object. Bart speaks critically of the stadium as he discusses what he views photographs culturally. For how can we not view something based on our experiences? And he describes the punctum, the prick of the moment, that it removes the spectator from the stadium. The moment that pricks, that bruises, but it is very profound. Bart says that few things have this punctum, and therefore very few photographs truly please him. These ideas emphasize Bart's subjective methodology, the punctum is and must be subjective. No one point can necessarily pierce another, but the punctum can certainly apply to more than one individual. Recall that to Barth the photograph is invisible. The reference is all, death captured, the piercing moment, a moment that words do little to define, a something, a punctum that makes the death of the photograph real, if but for a moment, a piercing glance at that which was. Bart speculates that the goal of the photographer must be to try to surprise the object. In this way, he would avoid the pretense of a pose or posture assumed but for a moment in an attempt to conceal oneself from the camera. Bart says that in doing this, the photographer can shock the spectator. The shock is different than the punctum. The shock 
is the photograph's ability to reveal something that the actor or object was perhaps unaware of. The photograph then lends the ability to see something new. Merleau Ponty says that in order to see the world and grasp it as paradoxical, we must break with our familiar acceptance of it. If this rings true, then a good photograph can perhaps help us to understand the world, but we have to be able to view ourselves and the photograph with unfamiliar eyes. We must condition ourselves to critically judge the photograph, but in line with Bart's methodology, it is not the extent of creating categories for the images of classification. Despite this, Bart created a system of understanding meaning, the informational level, the symbolic level, and the obtuse third meaning. The information level contains the information which can be gathered from the setting, the costume, the setting, etc., and the symbolic level examines referential symbolism. But, the obtuse third meaning seems to be some understanding beyond understanding. It seems to me that the obtuse meaning relates to the punctum he discusses in Camera Lucida. A richness of understanding that defies understanding in terms of mere psychological or semiotics. A kind of meaning which extends beyond the symbolic. Overall, the richness of meaning that Barth brings to a photograph goes beyond the simple kinds of relation of thing into a philosophical examination of the subject and the shooter. This adds richness to one's understanding of the self, the other mechanical reproduction, and an appreciation for capturing images.